What's up, guys? This is Gold Robotics, and uh, today is the 26th, yeah. um, Saturday after Thanksgiving. Um, we've been working uh, every day this week, besides Thanksgiving, of course. I mean, not of course. <laughs> uh, <laughs> not of course. There's a high chance that we would have been here, but we decided not to, um, just because it's Thanksgiving. And our next time it's like December 17th, so we yeah, got some time. Yeah, so we got some time. However, um, it's good that we're making a lot of progress now, because it's our week off, and then when school starts, it's going to be like crazy again about next week is finals week for dual credit and uh in two weeks we have finals for actual stuff and so or midterms if it's anyways um i will show off what i got going on first um this is what i worked on was it yesterday or the day before it was me learning how to do a transmission Right, this shifts to here, to this crown gear that I made. I think a team from Spin Up used these types of crown gears, right? It's just back and forth with the pneumatic. Um, and then been working on turret. I'm just flying by that. We're going more into depth. Um, oh, in, the documentary. in the documentary, everything that we do, I'm just taking a video of. Um, so that's gonna be really cool whenever it comes out. Hopefully, it might just look like something weird, but hopefully, it looks good. And also, doing showing all the design process and whatnot. And then we'll go to Reese. Um, Reese had a game yesterday, and I have a key plate. He's in band, so he's football game. Tigers won, so go Silsby Tiger football. Yeah, we're um, like 13 and 0 right Almost now. about to make state, so uh, that's really exciting for yeah. that. But um, I came here today and I could not think of anything else to prototype. Not really. Actually, I did think of something to prototype. I wanted to prototype my transmission. And I was like, okay, might as well just build a drag train. Build a drag train I started to want for my robot, so that's what I did. I went with the 3.25 wheels, and then I, uh, after that, I figured out the gear ratio that I wanted. I wanted a linear speed of about um, 1,200 pi inches per minute, and that's a random number that, but we found that that was the best number, so that's what we went with. And I found that the best way to get about that, I tried the four inch wheels, trying to figure out how to gear it up to, um, from a speed motor with four inch wheels, figuring out how to do it that way. Then I went to 3.25, figured out how to gear it up or if I should gear it down from a turbo motor. And I found that gearing it down was much easier. And also Audi has a very similar thing, so it was very easy to use something like that. Um, five to three. Uh, five to three ratio, wait, three to five ratio? It's three to five. Yeah, three to five ratio using a turbo motor. We then came up with the flex wheel thing, spacing out a flex wheel, making it the exact size of the drivetrain of the uh, regular wheels. So now I can't move sideways. Um, the thing about the not slicing up the flex wheels for the uh drivetrain to make those tires is at the end of the season you still have intact flex wheels hopefully <laughs> so uh that's why i like that design that's why i, I kind of came up and decided to like we need something like this and so it took us a few iterations of stretching out the flex wheels <laughs> that's not the fun part is stretching it out over the uh we've gotten good at it over yeah we, we, we developed a system but Anyways, Audi, you want to talk about your bike? Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, my transmission. My, my, my oh. Gosh. So the last thing I've been working on is this transmission. Uh, basically, I have this little weird uh, triangle system that's hard to see, but it's a triangle that these two gears hit each other at the same time, and I can transmission from hitting those two gears and then to not hitting them and out. I'm planning on putting a gear up here. So I can transmission to something else like the turret or uh, fifth motor. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. By the way, um, we're doing some crazy things. Um, like we said last episode, we're going beyond the meta. Um, but pretty much, um, my plan is a bot that goes from six motor drive 
and the transmission's off the middle, two motors <laughs> to do one for an H drive, and then the other one takes it off to turn the turret. <laughs> Um, that was crazy complicated, but that's what I'm excited about. Um, I'm basically doing that, but instead of H drive, I'm just doing another physical. Yeah, he's forward. he's gonna, and that way he doesn't lose as much torque. Mm -hmm. Um, I like the H drive because I feel like uh, he wants strafing strafing is gonna be really important for that low goal. Um, but I don't know. That's just what I've seen. Uh, so other teams, you know, are very perfectly fine without it. The goal is to finish pretty quickly so we have time to try for practice because. Mm -hmm. um, I know I need a lot of it. All right, Adi. All right, so while they're doing their overtly ambitious things, I'm just modifying my old bot. At first I wanted to do uh, a big rebuild, uh, completely scrap the old design, but honestly, it works pretty well. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the plan for uh, me is if my overly ambitious design fails, um, this bot. <laughs> Um, we're taking heavy inspiration <laughs> from this bot, uh, just because the catapult is so effective and simple and it just works so well. You don't really need the long, super long range shots besides a couple of knots on and you can, you know, use rubber bands assist for those first couple shots. So that's really effective. Uh, back to you, Adi. Yeah. So basically everything he just said, that's why I like catapult. Uh, not much of a turret person. <laughs> Not much of a five motor drive, six motor drive transfer. I mean, these guys are crazy. They thought they wanted to switch from tank drive to X, X drive, drive hey. with pneumatics. Anyways, my drive train is the one thing we're gonna be rebuilding first. Um, uses the exact same ratios, same size of wheels. Let me show it here. Oh yeah. Um, except all the gears are connected this time and I took some inspiration from 999999D. Xenon. Um, <laughs> his tipping point bot had a very similar thing where both of the motors are stacked on top of each other. And I liked that because it provides more space on the front, which is something we really needed because uh, Nathan and I, our building style is very compact and not fun to work with. <laughs> so we're hoping this should help. And uh, Reese essentially copied it, so. <laughs> He's not wrong. I uh, yeah. But it's a really good But you added a transmission. <laughs> it's a really it's good. It's a really good ratio for this year's if you're going 600 drag. Yeah. Is that, yeah. Um, is it three, and three to five and then gearing down from mm -hmm. there? And then there was nothing better gearing up. I literally looked all over. I looked for every ratio. Could not find anything good gearing up. I was uh, like, okay, gearing down is the only way. And his is the be best one for gearing now. I did the, um, mine's a little bit ambitious as far as speed, especially since I'm transmission, transmissioning off it to do a um, four motor drive with it. But also whenever we have six motor drive, it's gonna have, pretty much we're just gonna be losing that ability to accelerate fast whenever we transmission off of it. But then we'll be at the low goal, so acceleration's not gonna be a big deal because, you know, we won't have a lot of time to accelerate anyways, because it's just, you know, you know, four feet. Um, in a box, but uh, but it, I have a uh, was it a linear speed of like twelve hundred or I guess a little bit more because the um, four inch on these aren't really four inches, so it's a little bit faster than that. But it's the um, speed and then six, four to six speed speed motors four to six and on the omnis. Um, but yeah, really cool progress. Um, a lot of my progress has been me prototyping things and um, seeing how feasible it is to build um, this crazy bot. Uh, but I'm really excited about it because we're almost done prototyping everything we need and everything looks like it can work pretty good together. This is the easy part kind of because uh, execution is the part that kind of is rough. But I'm excited. So that, that we got it. Oh, Clayton was also working earlier this week on um, one function that does the shoot, shoot, shoot so that we can make those really quick shots on the fly rules. And then also something uh, with the drive PID. Also, he made some skills routes um, with our bots. We have a kind of unique design. So we kind of uh, have to, you know, change it for ourselves. So, um, but it's fun. You just been avoiding the uh odometry gyro stuff 
Yeah, we so we only have four gyros currently, and y'all know how hard it is to get gyros. So, uh, we, so what Reese did last time was he stuck one on his turret and one on uh, his drivetrain. Um, but I think if with the two odometry wheels in the sides, you can also do the same thing that a gyro does. Um, I just don't trust it as much, but it might be even more accurate, you know, because gyro has drift, you know, sometimes. So, anyways, you got anything else? No. I think that's it. See y'all next time. Bye.